How are we doing? I was thinking about starting. We sworn in the newbies. We've, we've gotten a couple drinks in us. Yes? Okay, then I think it's time to go, go boldly forward. Um, there is somebody not here that I'm going to talk about a little bit, and hopefully he's going to show up later tonight, and we're going to all have to slap him on the back. So first, a little time travel back to last Tuesday. How many people here have not been to Cirque Out? It's really hard to cheer for something you know nothing about, so I'm going to tell you. But first, how many people love Cirque Out? Okay, so I figure you probably want a little information what I'm talking about. While this is Monday and we do open stage here and we loves it, don't we? Yeah. We do. We do loves it. On Tuesday, we put all the cameras away, we put all of the costumes away, and we get sweaty and we work the hell out. We learn these skills and then we bring them up here and we polish them into performance. It is a great opportunity for you guys to learn, to expand your skills, to meet some of us kind of off stage if you want a chance to, to learn some of this crazy stuff you're going to see in all of the performances. It's, it's the place to go. It happens right down the street at the Richardson Civic Center. The funny thing about this is it kind of happened by accident. Um, there is a gentleman in this town called Logan Daffron, a.k.a. Logan the Juggler. Who knows him? Um, Logan runs a, a group called the White Rock uh, Jugglers, and he's been doing that longer than Monkey's been around. I mean, just really a long time. And I went out there once ages ago with Marie Martin from the Circus Freaks. Shout for her. Okay, that's good. And uh, she and I went out there, and they said, everybody there was really cool and really awesome, and they said, do you pass clubs? And I was a contact juggler and nothing else and kind of a snob about it at the time because I didn't know how to do anything else. That's the honest truth about being a snob about anything. It's because that's all you got. And um, I said, no, I can barely juggle. And they said, well, learn. And first they were kind of like, you know, they were really cool about it, but they were pretty, pretty serious. You need to learn this. And I realized, wow, these guys are really good, and I need to go both get my attitude in check, and I need to go and get me leveled up before I come back to where the, the ninjas of this town are. So I said, well, I've already kind of cleared Tuesday night out, which was when their event, so let, you know, when their event was. So I figured, well, let's just start practicing our juggling on Tuesday night. And me, Marie, and Monkey. You, hi, how are you? I, I was thinking about doing this monologue, if you're cool with that. Oh, thanks. Anyhow, that's Monkey. Don't walk in front of the camera. That's a lesson. OK. Um, so we were there Tuesday night working on juggling, and a couple more people showed up, and a couple more people showed up, and then someone advertised it for us. <laughs> I will tell you the story of someone advertising it for us off camera, where I won't get in a lot of trouble for the exact wording of what was posted, but essentially, it, it was the heart and soul of this community, in my opinion. It included the term, no douchebaggery. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was an easy applause, but... Uh, Rule one. So we had this little thing, and suddenly we had so many people coming and so much to do, we never made it back to Logan's group. And it was kind of a bummer, because you know I've met Logan a couple times, and now I had the pleasure to work with him in a couple of shows, and I never got back to his group. Well, last Tuesday, he showed up for two reasons. One, he showed up to invite me to his birthday party, which was that following Saturday, which was awesome. It was like a who's who in Dallas talent. Uh, he was there, a uh, magician by the name of Dal Sanders was there. Uh, Charlie Tips was out there, who we know from the open stage. Yeah. So, and, and we were out there. We had just gotten done with a gig. And so it was, it was this really cool moment. And he turns to some people at the party and says, yeah, um, when the weather breaks and it's not too hot, we're going to move our juggling club to Cirque Out. This was the first time I'd heard this news. So, of course, I listened and said, oh, really? Thinking in the back of my head. I said, interesting, what made you decide that? And he said, well, I really just like the community you've built and the attitude you guys have. And I thought to myself, that's excellent. I'm so glad to hear that. And he said, yeah, well, we'll like, when the weather changes, we'll, we'll be out there. So Logan's going to come join us and bring all of his juggling ninjas with him. So first of all, happy birthday, Logan. Hope you join us later tonight. Rumor is you will be later on this evening. And the second thing is... When he shows up, realize this guy has worked with circuses big and small. He's been around longer than any of us has, 
and he is one of the great teachers of our town. We're gaining a mentor, and I think it's a great opportunity for all of us to grow our skills. Please make him feel welcome, and by all means, just suck his brain out and learn everything he knows. Yes, nobody wants to hear, my birthday wish is to come join cool people, and they're going to eat my skull. Thank you for that, guys. Welcome, Logan. And with that, that is officially the big news I have. But I do have a little shout out for the guy behind the booth over there. Okay, so we had a couple of gigs last week, and I always like to do the gig report. Circus freaks were out at the Bark Park. That was, Monkey was out there spinning some poi. You're looking good. Marie was out there, and I thought this was great. She was out there dressed as a tree on stilts at a dog walk. My job was to be the guy with the stick to keep the dogs from getting too excited about the walking tree. <laughs> it was an amazing opportunity to find out a lot about dog psychology. When dogs see a tree moving, they think, challenge! <laughs> and fortunately, uh, her, her dry cleaning bill stayed about average. Nothing serious happened. We had a really good night. Saturday night, we were out at the Labyrinth Walk Coffee House. Who went? Okay, so a couple of you came out, and thank you, because the audience was, was not as loud as you guys are. Because just for a comparison, who is at Labyrinth Walk? Who is at Open Stage right now? You can sense why we're happy to be back. Not that it wasn't a great crowd. You guys are just a little more vocal and a little more, I'm going to say, giving because it seems safe. But there was a new addition to our stage show that I wanted to shout out. We should have cued some sort of dun-dun-dun. But ladies and gentlemen, Thomas Jefferson Whisker Nibbles stepped up on the stage for his first clown performance. And he totally rocked. We do actually have some video. I haven't had a chance to look at it yet. If it's even remotely worth watching, we'll have it online. And you can see our very own Thomas Jefferson Charlie Chaplin in action. It was pretty, it was pretty awesome. So we'll try to get that online in a couple of days. Anyway, with that, that's the, uh, we had no injuries, did we? No, just our, just our pride. Just our pride. Okay, so that is, uh, it was warm in there. Oh, the banana injury, I forgot, yeah. Um, there was flinging of bananas. We finally had our, yeah, they blamed you immediately. Did you notice that? No one went, Russ, how dare you? They all went, monkey. I wonder why. Because they know I wear dry clean only. Yeah, yeah, sweating like a farm animal. Okay, so they did great, we did great, it went great, and um, we had our first food fight on stage. And thank you to the raving banana dancers once again for coming out and doing what you do. With that, I'm, I'm actually going to kick the show into any gear that involves me not talking for a few minutes. <laughs> 